it sounds like there's a rain of bugs at this campsite and unlike cockroaches these insects are attracted to the light hi i'm matt and welcome to this abbreviated edition of borders on budgets from jarl hatch island national park in ukraine where the camping and the hiking has been a challenge long distance hikes but having a monkey steal from my camera bag a kayak with an inexperienced kayaker borders on budgets an unobstructed view looking across the Black Sea. And this is the site that I have to wake up to inside the tent. Oh, how yummy. I uh, don't know if that's one of the uh, legal or uh, illegal boats that should be patrolling the Gulf during the sunrise, but there have been a few of them buzzing around at this early hour. This is the uh, stagnant water from where the uh, mosquitoes and other critters have been able to breed. Good morning from Jarl Hatch Island National Park in the Black Sea off the coast of Skadovsk, Ukraine. This island is known as Ukraine's Maldives because of its low-lying feature and the clear water. And the clear water on the north side of the island gives way to murkier water on the south side of the park. And it's also at the tip of the island where the swarms of jellyfish begin to emerge. Uh, I've been told they are not dangerous. The easternmost tip of Jarl Hatch is known as Mayak Point, Mayak being Ukrainian for lighthouse. And the island, or the easternmost point, is an hour boat ride from the port of Skadovsk. The attraction of this national park is its tranquility and isolation, but it is its isolation that also becomes its challenge. This wilderness also doubles as the uh, park's latrine, as uh, on this section of the island, I have yet to see an outhouse. And if there is no indoor or outdoor plumbing, there certainly is no shower. So uh, these clothes I've been wearing for three days straight. However, however, there, uh, there is a fresh water source for drinking and cooking for campers. But a particular annoyance has been the mosquitoes. The locals say that uh, it has been quite bad this year. Yet when overcoming the obstacles and hazards of Jarl Hatch, there are some tangible rewards for coming to this point. Look at this bounty that was harvested from the salt water. Look what was saved for me for breakfast. These are mo Moluski. Moluski, cheese nuke, garlic, luke, onion, e limon. Mmm, fantastic. This island is 100 square kilometers in size and is the largest in the Black Sea. Jarl Hatch has a savanna, a grasslands, which has opportunities for hiking and wildlife observation opportunities. However, the worst of Ukraine in July and August is the heat. And in this open wilderness, the scorching sun is relentless. And that's why for two days, I've actually taken shade. I've taken refuge 
in a cafe and why this video is only about a sunrise at Mayak Point. This has been another edition of Borders on Budgets. A reminder, Borders on Budgets, local people, natural sounds, not a lot of money. From Charles Hatch Island National Park in the Black Sea in Ukraine, thank you very much for tuning in and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. And uh, they've got stop in English. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't stop. And the crossing looks safe. Okay, not bad. An added bonus, dolphins at the port of Jarl Hatch. I stand corrected, jellyfish, or medusa in Ukrainian, surround the entire island. I learned another new uh, Ukrainian word, sharka, sweat. Say, did you like this episode? Great. Help Borders on Budgets grow. Hit the subscribe button below, leave a thumbs up, send this video to your friends, and uh, all support for Bob is much, much appreciated.